Corn beef hash made. Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Easy one today, guys. One of my favourites. I love this recipe. Corn beef hash. Simple to make using a tin of corned beef. So easy, so quick. Let's show you how to do this. Right, guys, starting with our ingredients then. Start of the show, corned beef. Couple of onions, some potatoes, a couple of eggs because I like fried egg. We're going to have a dash of Worcester sauce, a splurge of Coleman's mustard, some black pepper, and we'll put in just a tiny amount of beef stock. So it's a very, very quick recipe, guys. Let's show you how to do this. Okay, guys, for preparation, it doesn't matter what order you do this in, you know. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start with the onions. All we're going to do is peel and dice the onions. Very easy. Now, for the onions, you can cut them any which way you want. You can cut them long ways or into small cubes. I'm going to cube mine. Okay then, let's just cube our, our onions. Now, we want these quite small actually, or I do for this one. Now, you don't have to, you know, you can have them um, cut into strands, whatever, you know, but I want small bits of onion in mine. Now, it's up to you whether you want garlic in, you know, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in my um, corned beef hash. Now, you don't have to put garlic in, you know. And garlic is really not traditional um, in a corned beef hash. But again, you know, it depends what you like. And, and I like a little bit of flavour in there. Now, th this takes us back to school days and all the rest of it, you know, when they used to make corned beef hash. But they used to put baked beans underneath, you know, which made it a bit soggy. And then they also made mashed potatoes and put over the top. Now, really nice, but mushy. We're not going to do it that way. Right, let's put our onions in a tub. So we'll get our onions in there. So that's our onions prepped. Potatoes guys. Now I've got some nice potatoes here. I've washed and dried them. You know, they're fairly clean. So all we're going to do is cube these into about one centimeter pieces with the skins on. Now it's very straightforward, you know, you can actually cube these for mashing if you want and mash the potatoes, but I want chunks of potato in my uh, corned beef hash. So that's the sort of size that we're looking at, you know, some of these are going to mash up a little bit with a fork, the rest we're going to keep whole. And then what we need to do is transfer them to a pan. That's our potatoes done, guys. Now for the all-important ingredient, the corned beef. So we want that key off that corned beef. Add your key to your corned beef tin. You can't even see the hole, look. And then unravel the seal. Quite easy, actually. You know, you get people make a big deal of this. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, open up your tin. Give your tin a little shake. If it doesn't come out, get your knife. And let's have that out of there. Easy as that, guys, you know? Right, with our corned beef, 
we want some cubes about the same size as our potato so down there down there turn it over and cube up our corned beef now it doesn't have to be perfect guys you know you just want to cube it up and by cubing it we get some texture in our corned beef hash you know some people like to mash up the corned beef I like to just chuck it all in if it mashes great if not it's still got that texture and you know don't be fooled this corned beef can be eaten up straight out of the can and you can taste the saltiness in there so we're not going to add any salt to our corned beef hash you know everybody thinks oh gotta cook 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 but you can eat this straight out of the can so all we need to do is put our corned beef in a tub and I know someone's gonna say why are you cutting corned beef on a green board well what is the point in dirtying another board so that's our ingredients guys chopped up potatoes chopped up corned beef chopped up onions what we need to do now is put the pan on and boil up these potatoes now we're not going to boil them soft we're going to boil them softish with a little bit of crunch in there because we're going to fry them guys usual manner for boiling potatoes you know you want to get some water in your pan to about the level of the potato nice and easy now I'm going to put a pinch of salt in my potatoes crack on with the flame and let's get these potatoes boiling the temptation is not to eat that corned beef out of that tin <laughs> that is there just for the picking don't eat it now guys if you want to boil it up quicker stick a lid on obviously boil these potatoes till they go a little bit soft and then we're going to fry them to put a bit of a crust on that would be sufficient to cook your corned beef hash but we're going to put it in a tray i want to shove it in the oven crisp over the top make it absolutely delicious it's lid off Ooh. right look we don't want these too soft okay they've still got a, a bit of firmness to them but a fork just goes in all we need to do now is drain our potatoes and we're going to fry them okay guys you want to pan on and we want to go in with some oil now we want the flame on now we're not going to go too daft on this guys we just want to cook the onions translucent and put a little bit of color on our potatoes so in with our onions get our onions in there now normally i would actually put a little bit of salt in with the onions but not for this dish you know this dish is um, got a little bit of salt in the corned beef you know this corned beef hash is a fantastic budget meal it's easy it comes together very quickly you know like I say you know you can make this corned beef hash you could put a layer of baked beans on the bottom of a pan put the corned beef hash on the top and put mashed potatoes on the top and you can even put a sprinkling of cheese it's fantastic but well, I'm making this the common way <laughs> the working man's way right we got our onions going there guys and now I am adding garlic you know I like garlic in my corned beef hash if you don't like garlic don't put it in you know it's certainly optional give that a stir around and then I'm going in with a good pinch of black pepper okay this is freshly ground black pepper get that in there that's our seasoning we don't need to season much else we're going to put a little bit of Worcester sauce in and a bit of beef broth okay guys just return the potatoes get your potatoes in there give it a little stir through now if these potatoes are soft 
and they mash up a little bit in the pan. So be it. Oh, oh, I love that smell of cooking onions and garlic. Now this really is one of those simple comfort food meals. It's really easy. What we're going to do now guys, we're going to go in with our corned beef. So put our corned beef in there. Give that a little stir in. Now some of this will break up, but hopefully some of it will stay in chunks. So what we need to do now, we need to go in with a splash of Worcester sauce. So you want a good splash in there, that's one of the signature tastes of this dish, you know, you want about somewhere near to a tablespoon. And if you're English, a teaspoon of Coleman's mustard. So give that a little stir in there. Now you can see that this is a little bit of a dry mix at the moment. Now this is where we add the beef broth. So in with our beef broth. Give that a stir around. Right, just reduce that a little bit in there. We're not touching it. We don't need to touch it that much, you know. Now don't worry if you get a little bit of browning on the bottom of the pan, but you just don't burn it. Now that is a sort of moisture consistency you need in your corned beef hash, you know. You don't want it too dry, you need that moisture in there. That is absolutely perfect. So turn off the heat. That is our corned beef hash made. Now, of course you can eat this straight out of the pan. You know? Not a problem. Mm. That is delicious. But I'm gonna put it in a baking tray and crisp over the top. So let's transfer that to our baking dish. So get that in our baking dish. Wow. That is our corned beef hash in our baking dish. Now I'm gonna stick that in the oven. Now don't forget this is already cooked guys. So we do not have to try and cook it for any length of time. We just wanna put a bit of crispiness on the top, a little bit of a color, that's all. So I'm just going to go shove this in the oven. Seriously, look at that. There we go guys. Corned beef hash made with a nice crusty top. Guys, the only thing to do now is to fry an egg and top our corned beef hash the traditional way. A nice mound of corned beef hash with a fried egg on top. Oh, and then to keep it British, we're gonna have a dobbin of HP sauce. That is a cookie ring, okay? Nothing special. It's a four inch cookie ring. Not an egg ring, a cookie ring. And we're gonna crack our egg in there. Now guys, by cooking my egg this way, I'm going to get a real crispy bottom and a nice soft egg. Now it doesn't matter, does it? You know, you can just fry your egg in a pan. So all we need to do, guys, is serve a portion. Oh, just look at that. Keep it British guys, a nice dobbin 
of brown sauce. Oh, ho, 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 look at that! Corn beef hash made. Oh, just look at that. No, oh, no. Oh, that is serious, serious comfort food on this rainy day. Mm. Get some egg, a little bit of brown sauce. Oh, seriously, guys, that is awesome. Now, if you like what we're doing, guys, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe share with your friends, all that kind of stuff, and we'll catch you in the next video. Mm.